Hello, my friends, and welcome back. So, Dragon Song War is now over. Pretty much. What the hell are we gonna do with ourselves now? I, for one, would like a medal. I think I deserve it. I think me and my little buddy totally deserve a medal for all this. Everyone deserves to know my name. Let's stick a poster. We'll have a little ceremony. I'll sign a couple autographs. And an all-you-can-eat buffet. There has to be an all-you-can-eat buffet there. Or no deal. That's right. He still owes me a drink. Yeah. <laughs> D whatever I did with pro damn, damn. I, I don't think it's a wise idea to go naked like I did the last time I had to go to a ceremony. Alright, let's see what my buddies have to say about this. They probably don't have anything to say, but... Might as well tell them, go on a hot date with Sir Emmerich. Do not disturb. No, you guys don't even care. Don't even care. Fine. Fine, 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 fine. Can't even make sure my seams are straight or anything. Ugh, guess I'm on my own. Just wear what I got. We're just gonna assume it's been recently washed. Hello, sir. Well, what were you planning on doing if I said no? You already have this prepared, like, right now? I mean, yeah, MMO and everything, but still, come on. You know, I think my other friends deserve a party too. Like, 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 I know this is supposed to be a hot date and a drink between you and me, but I think my other friends also deserve some hospitality from you. And oh my god, he's wearing normal clothes. Holy shit, you guys. Oh, it feels so nice to actually be fed for once, you guys. This is amazing. This is probably the best meal I've ever had. <laughs> to think the Mughals would prove such harsh taskmasters. <laughs> Forgive me. I did not know you had suffered so in your quest for the horn. <laughs> well, th well, that wasn't that hard. I mean, seriously. It was annoying, but not really difficult. I must say, your spirited accounts always come as a welcome change from the arid reports which fill my days. Yeah, I, I, I know you promised a drink, but after what happened last time, don't think that's a good idea. I'm actually honestly surprised in this scene they don't remove my glasses either. I just love this little detail that I'm just over sitting here watching him like a hawk. Though I have lived in these lands my entire life, to hear you speak of them, there is much and more I have yet to see. 
Truly, yours was a marvelous journey. Yeah, I nearly got myself killed a bunch of times too. Yeah. It kind of sucks from time to time. Nor would I presume to imply otherwise. Neither I nor any man alive can truly understand what you have endured, and I cannot say with any confidence that I would have acquitted myself as well under the circumstances, much less grown stronger for it. Um, yes you could have. Come on, go some, go some balls to Redmark. Seriously, seriously. Alphano? Yeah, he's been through like 90% of the shit I have been in this expansion, and he's come out of it fine, and he's half your age, and half your size for that matter. By your deeds, you have helped us to lay the foundation for lasting reform. Yeah, can I have a medal now? The formation of the Republic is but the beginning. For it is not only our system of governance which must needs change. We the people must learn to let go of our hatreds and rise above our bloody past. I only pray that I live long enough to see us achieve some measure of success. That I might know the lost did not die in vain. I can still see you there on the steps of faith, striding fearlessly towards the worm. If you could do that, who are we to bulk at the challenges ahead? Well, I've never had torches and pitchforks and stuff thrown at me. The question of how best to strengthen ties with the other great nations of Eorzea has been debated at length in the Lords and Commons of late. As you may imagine, Maintaining stability during this period of historic upheaval is our paramount concern. Nevertheless, we are greatly indebted to the Alliance for their support during the Grand Melee, and it would be remiss of us not to repay their faith in kind. Of course, we owe you the greatest debt of all, and it is my hope that in extending our support to you and the Scions, we might also express our gratitude to our neighbors, nay, our fellow Eorzeans, whom we pray you will continue to protect. But no pressure, huh? The Lords and Commons agree on very little. But not a soul in either house begrudges your order this offer of patronage. For all you have done and will do, we thank you. Yes, so ceremony, medal, all you can eat buffet. Those are my terms. May I ask a personal question? Yes, I'm single. <laughs> now that the dust has settled, what will you do? Not as a scion, I mean, but... What do you want for yourself? Lord Commander, pray forgive the interruption. Uh, it, uh hi. News from House Fortin. I thought I told them to hold my calls. An urgent message for the Warrior of Light. I was instructed to deliver it without delay. Master Thancred returned to the manor a short time ago, bearing an injured maiden. Oh, now Thancred disdains to show his appearance, huh? Master Leveilleur and Mistress Tataru are tending to her wounds, but they like not her chances. Respectfully, my lord, they have requested the Warrior of Light's immediate presence. Oh, for fuck's sake, I leave for like ten minutes and disaster befalls us. You must go to them, my friend, and I shall go with you. Where'd that shit come from? She just, just, like, she just shows up there. For every ending... Marks a new beginning. Uh, hi narrator, who the hell are you? Nice pants. Or his boots, I guess. From tragedy and sacrifice, we rise to greet a new dawn. As did she. Uh, lady, gravely injured. Do we have to walk slowly? I thought we would be running. 
only to be drawn onto another battlefield, another cause, as if by fate. Hey guys, we, we, we just walked past an Aetherite. Well, not like we acted like there was any sense of urgency at what we were- the old message we were given, but... We're here. Oh! Um, hi! Okay, well, no wonder they wanted my ass here right now. Is that... Alize, Alfino's twin sister. She ran afoul of the Warriors of Darkness. I had been tracking them since the ceremony at Falcon's Nest. Little did I know I was not the only one. Evidently, she had learned of their activities and attempted to shadow them on her own. Poorly. Dankred. Dankred, unnecessary insult. Completely unfucking necessary I'll get back to that later. I rescued her in the Twelves Wood, and together we fled north. But though I made every effort to cover our tracks, they caught up with us on the Ishgardian border. And in the ensuing struggle, Elise took an arrow to the shoulder. It was only after we had made good our escape that I realized it was poisoned. Yeah, good job on that too. Good job on that, Thancred. Um, uh, seriously, considering you're supposed to be, uh, got your marks in, um, in espionage and intelligence gathering, yeah, you did a pretty shitty job of covering your tracks, you know, for someone who's supposed to be an expert in espionage. Yeah. Great job. Thank you for coming so quickly. And you, Sir Emmerich. Think nothing of it. How is she? We have done all we can for now. Although the immediate danger has passed, the poison yet lingers in her blood. We came to Eorzea together, hoping to bring salvation to the realm our grandfather gave his life to protect. But when confronted with the bitter realities of its politics and its petty powermongers, she was driven to anger and to doubt. She refused to become embroiled in what she termed Eorzea's squabbles, and distanced herself from the Scions. Though she remained hopeful of a brighter future, she would walk her own path. Would that it had not been so perilous. For all our differences, she is as dedicated as any Scion to the salvation of Eorzea. But more than that, she is my sister. To be reunited with her, only to lose her forever. Gods, even to speak the words. Take heart, Master Alfino. She will be attended by our most skilled Kyrugians. Oh, someone needs to go hug him. He's like three seconds away from falling apart over here. Bear Mistress Leveilleur to the infirmary at once. Apprise Captain Whitecape of the situation, and inform him that she is to be treated as my personal charge. Thank you, Sir Emmerich, for actually thinking to call a fucking medic. Elphino, is the Warrior of Light... is she with you? D don't go, there is something I must say. Hey, what, what up, girl? Good to see you again, although it would be nice if it was less shitty circumstances. The Warriors of Darkness are in league with the Ascians. Slaughtering the Primals is but the first step in their plan. They make for Zelvatol to bring about Garuda's summoning and to kill her. You must... 
You must stop them. Well, it looks like we're picking up an extra shift as the Primal Slayer again. I... I shall inform the others at once. Master Thancred, I would ask that you accompany Mistress Levea to the infirmary. Your knowledge of her injuries may well prove useful in determining her treatment. Of course. Yeah, funny how you didn't think of this before you dragged her here. I mean, I kind of understand why he did, but yeah. Oh, hey guys. Hi, Elfino. Yeah, your sister just took an arrow, a fucking poison arrow. Yeah, I thought you might like to know. Yeah, where is the nearest fucking medic? There you go. Problem solved. That's all that needed to be done. All right, you're doing okay. I am going to give you a hug. Okay, I think you deserve that. Let's do that. Okay, what should we get for food today? Get some eggnog. Cause why not? Yeah, it's okay. I'll fill you in a little bit later on that. Blah blah blah. A bunch of evil scumbags tried to kick the crap out of us. Mostly succeeded. Yeah, let's just leave it at that. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Seems like that. Of course I will! It's kind of my day job! I'm working overtime by this point, but... Okay. Cool, cool. I get an escort. They're not making me do all the damn work for once. Cool. I will take that. Glad to see somebody actually finally doing their damn work around here. Yeah, I would like some tacos on the run, please. Kinda got interrupted out of dinner. Um, um, Mr. Count? Mr. Count? Not that I don't think you should be disregarded from any decision making going forward. Need I remind you? You are not head of this household anymore. I know he said nominate and not elect there. I'm, I'm not missing the nuance in the dialogue there, but... I find it kind, kind of a bit interesting that... Even though Artie is now head of the household, besides the little blurb about... Yeah, we're now to be treated as if we're direct members of the family. I don't think anything else ever comes of that. Like, there was just that one part, he's like, yeah, I can't leave this room, my dad's gonna be stepping down because of accusations against him in the house, doesn't want to sell our name, all that good crap. And that's pretty much it. Nothing else ever comes of that. 
Like, count, like, you're, you're fine to retire. Like, I'm glad you're still kind of staying, staying around and not totally in the background, but at the same time, your eldest son should be kind of stepping up and be a little more active in, in the story instead of you. Like, your roles, your, your, your placement in the story should kind of be reversed at this point, I would think. Now, not that I don't think this was absolutely necessary, but at the same time, won't this serve to kind of piss the Beastman a bit more off? And, you know, maybe hasten the summoning a bit? I mean, granted, we, we still have to uh, beat evil Darplander and his crew there, but... Same time, I don't think making the Aesol any more, any more, any less, more pissed off at us is gonna help matters in the future. Just a hunch. So one thing I am grateful for is this section of the map gets literally, even though it's very small, it literally gets no use outside of the hunting log. So I am a bit grateful for that. Oh, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. I mean, we ripped freaking Nidhogg's eyes off of Sinian's body, despite the fact that you were screaming in pain the whole time. God, that must have been fucking awful. And then got knocked flat on your ass to the ground. Okay, I think that pretty much just trumps anything at this point. So what I imagine this distraction to be is them making like just like funny faces at everyone. That would be hysterical. Highly inappropriate, but hysterical. But that's gonna be it for this episode because now we have a new dungeon to explore! Woohoo! Totally awesome! So thank you for watching friends, and I shall see you next time!